Hi there, you guys! You know, I was told in school that I'm not a creative person at all and because my hands tremble, I can't do crafting. So, if I can do what you see here, I'm sure that everybody would be able to do this. I will show you in easy steps this sunshine seed bead summer earrings. If you're new here, consider subscribing with the bell. You might support me by liking, sharing and commenting or by becoming a member which comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of 11 o seed beads, earring findings, Nymo nylon thread, that is 0.3 millimeters of thickness or size D, you could use other thread of your choice. This is size 11 beading needle, I think you could use size 10 or 12 as well, but the smaller sizes are easier to work with. These are scissors and these are pliers and you could take comfortable length of thread on your needle and later we will add more thread. Okay guys, and here I have 8 yellow beads and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot and I'm making my knot by making a loop going twice through the loop I've made, pulling and then making one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure. Okay, then what I want to do is go through some beads in this direction. Then guys, I'm taking a yellow bead and I'm going back in circle through the same yellow and through the following yellow. Okay? And what I have here is a loop between the central bead and this bead. Taking another yellow, going back in circle through this yellow and through the following. Another one. And again. And it is absolutely the same thing, guys, that I'm doing until the end of this row. And this is the last one. Now what I want to do is go through this yellow like this zigzagging and with this I'm turning directions. But don't worry about this, it is a wanted effect and I want one orange bead and I'm going in the next yellow. I'm just filling the gaps guys between these two yellow beads just like this okay but you know what because I'm right-handed it's easier for me to go uh, in the other direction that is why I'm going to flip if it's easier for you to go in this direction don't flip it but I will flip like this okay Always flip your work the way it's easier for you, okay? And I take an orange bead and go in the next yellow, orange again, and yellow. And it is a pleasant row because you just fill in the gaps, nothing complicated, nothing difficult. I'm doing one and the same thing until the end. Okay. 
Okay, my friends, now I'm exiting out of this yellow bead and I take another yellow and continue in similar manner to add yellow bead. Then and add two orange beads. Then I go in the following yellow. Take one yellow, go back through the yellow and through the following orange back in circle. Okay. Then take two orange beads, go back through the uh, orange and through the following yellow. Okay, you see I have a loop here and I pull. Then another yellow and go back through the yellow and through the following orange. So where I have orange guys, I take two orange and go back through the orange and through the yellow. And where I have yellow, I take one yellow and go back through the yellow and exit out of the orange. Two orange beads again. And go backwards. one yellow and I'm going to alternate them guys like this and I'll meet you here at this point okay my friends and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last two orange beads and now what I want to do is to go back through these orange beads in the other direction Okay, now what I want to do is to flip because I said it's the easier way to go for me. So what I do is that I reinforce all of those beads. There is one here with a smaller hole, that's why I needed to use my pliers. Okay, and I just reinforced my beads to make them stay nice and tight next to each other. And I'm going to start my next row. And for my next row, I'm taking two yellow beads where I'm exiting out of a yellow. This is the important thing. Exiting out of a yellow, taking two yellows, going back through this yellow and through the following orange. This row will consist of only yellow beads. So I take a yellow and I go back in circle through the next orange. A yellow again, go back through the orange and through the following yellow. So where the orange beads are, I add two yellows one by one. And where the yellow bead is, I add two yellows at once. So orange, yellow, yellow and here two yellows yellow 
and yellow. Okay, my friends, and I don't think that my thread will be enough to finish this row. That is why I'm going to cut it and add a new thread. Maybe now it's not the time when you when your thread is over, if it took longer thread than mine, but at one point it might be over, so maybe this uh, step that I'm showing will be useful for you. So I'm exiting out of this orange and I'll zigzag like this. I'll find a place here and I'll make a loop. How I make a loop? I just make I go back like this and I will go twice through the loop that I've made and I will go twice through the loop that I've made and pull then I will go through some beads in this direction never cut next to a knot, always go through some beads after that and now it's time to cut this tail thread by the way we don't need this tail thread as well so you might we might cut it as well and now I will take another longer thread on my needle and I'll be back okay my friends and now I have longer thread on my needle and what I want to do is go through some beads and make a knot to attach it. Okay. And what I want to do is here to make a loop and to go twice through the loop, which is absolutely the same thing that I showed you before. And then I pull. And then I go through this yellow. Okay. Now I'm going to cut this tail thread here. Here when I where I have yellow, I take two yellows, go back in circle and exit out of the next orange. Here I take one yellow and go back in circle like this. Okay, then here I add another yellow, then two yellows, one yellow, one yellow, two yellows, one yellow, one yellow, two yellows, and I'll meet you here at this point. Okay, my friends, and here I am at my last part where I'm adding my last yellow bead from this row. And what I do is what I did before. Just go back in the other direction and reinforce this. Okay, but it's easier for me to flip. That is why I will flip. And I go through all of the beats. Okay, now I have this. I'm going in this direction. I'm exiting here these two yellows. Remember that I added attached to this yellow and I want to go through them with two more yellows like this. And I'm making an additional step of going through this yellow one more time and adding one more yellow.
then I go through these two yellows again that I added together in the previous row okay then I go through the following two yellows that are next to the orange ones these two take two yellows go back through these two yellows like this then one more time through this one and again this and backwards like that again go through two backwards is yellow and like this okay and this is absolutely the same thing that I'm gonna be doing until the end I will show you this one more time going through these two yellows then going backwards through one one yellow go in this direction and like this and this is what I'm gonna be doing that guys until the end of this row I will do this off camera I will do this off camera and I'll meet you here okay my friends and here I am where I'm adding my last yellow bead in this row my goal is to exit through one of the beads that are sticking out now I prefer to flip I take three red beads and I go through the next one that is sticking out again three go in the next one three red and go in the next one and this row guys is really pleasant and really easy because you just add three red beads and connect the sticking yellow beads okay I'll do this off camera and I'll be back okay my friends and here I am where I just added my last three beads from this row and don't worry that now it doesn't look good we'll fix it later okay and I need three orange beads I'm skipping the central one and going through the following red and I have this I don't add anything here I skip the central one and I go through the next one and when I do this you see I have a beautiful angle here this bit is sticking out okay now I go in the following red and I take three orange beads again skip the central one and go through the red and through the following yellow then I go in the next red skip this central one and go in the following and in the yellow if you can in one movement pull then go in the next red take three orange beads skip the central one and go through the red and through the following yellow okay and this row is really simple 
because I'm alternating adding orange beads and creating an angle here. How I create the angle, I go through the first red, skip the central one and go through the next red. And when I pull, the angle is created. And then I go through the first red, add three orange beads and I continue this until the end. And I'm sure you will be able to do this from here on by yourself. If not, rewind the video and repeat these steps here and I'll meet you. Okay. And here I am where I added my last three orange beads from this row. I want to reach now this red that is sticking out. And in this row, guys, I'm going to be adding only yellow beads. I'm exiting out of this red and I go in the orange, adding four yellows. Again, four yellows and connect orange with red. Four yellows, connect orange with red. Four yellows, connect orange with red. Four yellows. And it is absolutely the same thing, guys, that I'm doing until the end of this row. So I'm sure you're going to be able to make it by yourself and I'll meet you here. Okay, my friends, and here I am where I'm adding my last four beads from this row. I go through the red again and pull. I usually pre-stretch the nylon thread when I work with it. It gets less tangles. Okay, now I want to go through three yellows and I take five yellows. And then I want to go in this direction through three yellows and one red. Okay. I'm skipping the yellow, orange, yellow and go through the next three yellows and the red after that. Okay. Then I go through the following yellow after the inner angle. Take just one orange. Go back through the yellow and through the red one more time. Then I'm going through three yellows. And I take five beads again. And again, three yellows and red in this direction. Okay, then following yellow, orange, back through the yellow and through the red. Again, three yellows, five yellows. And go through three yellows and one red. Then go through the next yellow. Add one orange and go back in circle. Through the yellow and through the red. And I'm going to continue these guys until the end of this row. If you forget how I'm doing it, just rewind the video and repeat these steps from here and I'll meet you at this last point. Okay, my friends, and here I am where I'm adding my last orange bead from this row. Then what I want to do is go through all of those beads, which are five in total. I skip this central yellow bead, go like this 
and in this process as you may see I create an angle then I go in the orange bit and I'm taking three yellows go back in circle through the orange then through the next yellow that's on my way so through four in total okay then I skip here the central one and go through all of the five here creating an angle okay I think it will be easier if I come back through this bit and reach the orange like this and I need three yellows and I go back like this then I go here through the following four beads I skip this central part this central bead and it's easier to go here through four beads okay then I go inside this orange one and I take three yellows go back like this this orange is a tough one I think the hole is smaller like the one in the center that I had with smaller hole okay I'm going in this direction and I want to go through four yellows in total okay in fact counting from the angle they are five so I skip the central one and I go through four beads here and then through the orange and the same thing three yellows go here make an angle three yellows go here make an angle if you forget how I'm doing it just rewind the video and repeat these steps from here and I'll meet you okay my friends and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row now what I want to do is go through these beads like this and take an orange bead, an earring finding and an orange bead and I'm going back in circle through this yellow then what I want to do is to reinforce okay and in my next step what I need to do is to make a knot and cut my thread and I make a loop go twice through the loop like I did so many times before and then I go through some beads in this direction and by the way you could repeat this knot several times when you already go through some bead and cut it and you could burn it if, with a zipper if it sticks out 
Okay guys, and now my sunshine summer beaded earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe. Also hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make tutorials and you will be inspired often. You could also share your beautiful designs that you did on my Facebook page. I will be happy to see them. Support me by liking, sharing and commenting or becoming a member which comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.